Welcome to our video on fundraising. We're gonna cover some really superficial topics about kind of the best ways to fundraise uh, and what your options are. One of the easiest ways to set up fundraisers is at local restaurants. While easy, it usually doesn't result in a huge payday. You're getting a small percentage and students usually aren't spending too much, especially at yogurt or boba places. We'd recommend you only do this if you're planning to do a social anyways, then you can at least make some of your money back. Another easy way to fundraise is to literally bring a business onto campus. We call these vendors. Every time you walk by the bell tower and you see a business set up out there, maybe selling posters or clothing, that's a vendor. And they need a student organization to bring them onto campus. You can bring a vendor twice a quarter and each time the vendor has to pay you at least $150 or more depending on what you negotiate. Once you have a business you are working with, head up to the Highlander event scheduling office at 353 Hub to start the process. The scheduling office will work with you to get all the info they need and then approve the vendor to come onto campus. You can make $300 a quarter and it's super easy. Do you want a fundraising tip that will yield the most money? It's probably to secure business sponsorships. This is an in-depth process, so we have an entire video dedicated to getting businesses to sponsor you. Head to the description for the link. There's one fundraiser that groups try to do, but it's actually illegal, so we want to stress not to do them. In this section, we want to emphasize that your group should not be doing any sort of paid raffle. You shouldn't be holding raffles at your events because they could potentially be considered gambling. If you want to do a raffle, tournament, or anything else that requires participants paying for the chance to win something, you should meet with your organization advisor and they can help you brainstorm and come up with an activity that is appropriate for your event. There are plenty of other ways to fundraise. We have another entire video dedicated to selling food in the blue tents, which some groups find successful. Some groups create merchandise and sell it, while others take trips to LA to sit in the seats at TV tapings and get paid per seat. If you want to brainstorm, Set up a meeting with your org advisor in student life and we can figure out which of these strategies is best for you. Thanks for watching.